Hey, it is your shield brother Kaz coming right at you again with another video, another beard video. Four reasons as to why you should start styling your beard. Get it in perfect order. Not five. Four. In fact, four doesn't sound so good, so I'm gonna go uh, three with a bonus reason. Ah, that sounds great. So if you don't know how to style your beard, Kaz has got you covered. Up here I got a video for you how I style my current beard. So uh, it kind of runs you through the whole process, right out of the shower, all the products you would ever need, all of the advice. So go check that out. And the first reason as to why you should start implementing a method like that is it helps you grow out your beard longer mentally, right? It's kind of a mental tool that you can use to grow out your beard longer. I know a lot of men want a longer beard and if you have the coverage, right? So let's say uh, you've done a kind of a test phase you've grown out your beard for three weeks right that that's kind of the sweet spot for me right if if i see a man that's grown out their beard for three weeks you can start to really assess okay uh how long is this guy going to be able to grow it like is he capable of growing a long beard that's going to look good if all of the you know styling parameters are put in place and then execute on your plan Right, so incrementally add more order, more products, more, uh, you know, a more um, thorough styling process as your beard grows out longer, right? Because as the beard grows out longer, typically it's harder to deal with. And if you don't add order to a longer beard, right, you really, really start growing it out. The natural shape, you know, the true shape of the beard becomes kind of skewed. Right, and that's kind of this. That's kind of the second reason as to why you should uh, style your beard, because the natural shape of the beard gets skewed. Right, you go to the barber and you have this curly beard, and it's crazy to me that a lot of barbers don't do this. Right, a lot of barbers don't pull out the length of your beard with a blow dryer. They should, um, you know, they you know, get a roller brush. They pull out the length, and but then, you know, the the. They trim your curly beard as it is, you know, your big, uh, bulky, curly beard. But the problem is that it's not going to sit like that every single day. And you don't know if it's being trimmed evenly. Uh, a barber would, would do a better job, right? If you did it at home, that could be an absolute disaster. I know that from personal experience, right? Because when I wasn't styling my beard and I would try to trim it at home, it was never even because I just never fleshed out the length. When you flesh out your length, you bring out the natural, you know, the true shape of your beard, right? And, and another downside is even when you pull out the length of your beard and then trim it, or you get a barber to trim it, uh, and then you revert back to a natural beard, like it, it's it's not always gonna have, per, you know, perfect carryover because some of those hairs are gonna curl up in different ways. And then your beard might look uneven, even though it's completely even, even if it's completely perfect, different hairs, in your beard will curl up in different ways. And the third reason kind of plays into the second reason and the first reason, they all kind of play into each other. Um, and that is, it's gonna take longer for the beard to start forking if you style your beard. I, <coughs> I remember at four inches of beard growth, I'm just getting past four inches right now. And as you can see, very, very thick growth, right? There's no forking going on. At four inches, when I was not styling my beard, my beard started to fork like this. Right, it started to thin and it started to fork and I was getting like, uh, well, I'll put up a picture, right? And that is not a true representation of my density, right? My beard is not a representative of a beard that thins at four inches. I don't know what at what length my beard is going to thin out at. Um, or, and four cats. I'm assuming probably anywhere between six to seven inches, judging by, you know, my chin density and my neck density, or my gobbler density rather. Um, but it's truly not four inches. And what's gonna happen to a lot of guys is they're gonna start trimming their beards prematurely because they're like, oh, my beard's starting to get thin. Well, well no, it's like you're not adding order to, order to the beard. Right? And so then a, a lot of these hairs, what they did is they would scrunch up like this and which would, which, and then the neck hairs, my neck hairs are pretty straight. So they would grow out like that. And then, uh, my, my, you know, the bottom of my beard was all just neck hairs and they would split and it, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess guys. All right. So the bonus reason <laughs> is that, uh, 
I, I, a beard in a style will just get more leniency from other people. All right, so employers, uh, spouses, especially employers. Let's let, let, let's take employers for example. And it's a sad reality. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I I hate it that you know uh, a lot of jobs you can't grow out a beard, right? It's unfortunate, but I think that in the, in the job that I have currently. If I didn't style my beard, they would probably tell me to shave it off. Not gonna lie. But no one's gonna tell me to shave this thing off. Absolutely no way. Like, what, why would somebody ask me to shave this thing off? Like, it's in perfect order. Truly, not perfect, but you know. You, you know what I mean. But that's the world we live in, right? And I'm all about, you know, beating the beard stigma. Uh, you know, guys, we, we, we should, you know, accept that men want to grow big wild beards, and that's fine, but it just really comes down to you know a, a objective standards and what looks good what looks presentable and what makes a company look bad and what looks what makes a company look good right that's just really what it comes down to and a stigma is not going to be reversed in a couple of years it's not going to be re reversed in a decade it's going to take a long time it's going to take a very very long time this is the this is the era we live in now and until then, we kind of have to abide by the standards of society. Uh, you know, keep our voices broadcast and talk about these issues and hopefully um, and have intelligent conversations with people rather than saying, Oh, screw it. I'm not going to style my beard. I'm just going to look like a wild man every day as a protest. Uh, I don't think it's a good way to go about it. You know, have intelligent conversations and you know, beat, beat the beard stigma over a long, drawn-out period of time because these things don't get reversed in a couple of days. Just my opinion on that. So, uh, sorry, kind of kind of a rush video today, guys. I have some place to go in about 20 minutes, so uh, uh, that's probably why it's a little uh, little choppy. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, have a wonderful night, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.